Hey guys, so this is going to be a new tutorial with updated methods that should work much better and easier. So, first you're going to want to open your browser, click here, and you're going to want to search for bsmd.sm0ke. You're going to go to this website that's going to pop up. You just want to click download all. This should download this, this, and then this. It might ask here to allow multiple downloads. Just click allow, and then it should finish downloading all these things. Once all these things are downloaded, you can close the browser window or leave it open if you want. Go here, go here, look for your store, and you're going to want to search for an app called Mobile. VR station. Right there. You're going to want to click on that. Click here. Click download, get, install. Very long, it's very small. Time. Once that finishes installing right there, you can click here. Scroll down. Click here. Settings. It might be a bit different if you don't have the navigator, but it's basically the same. you got to get to this menu. Click old Oculus version. Opt in. Confirm. Wait for it to load. Close this. Open back, come here, click update. Now you gotta wait for it to download the update. Now that it's finished downloading, open this and just wait for it to load. Make sure you click allow to everything that it says there, and it should look like this. Now, what you're gonna want to do, head to local files, you're gonna want for old folders, Android, data, then it's gonna show this screen. Look for scope storage actions right at the bottom. Then request access. It's gonna load this, and now you're in. And you can. What you're gonna want to do? Click here. Make sure you go to download. Whatever it's gonna say. You might be want to click here and just click modified newest first. And I'll just put all the newest files on top, and it makes it easier to see. You want to come here. Click CX File Explorer. Settings allow install now just wait for this to load so it's going to be installed click done you can just close there like that click install mbf launcher so once mbf launcher is, is installed you can just click done never click open on this one and there's going to be one last one open settings and you want to click there and you want to click install done and then you can close this window this should crash but now you're back here you can just close your store window and now if you go to unknown sources you should have a three files installed right at the top here there's dev tools opener which is what we're going to use and mbf launcher which is going to mod the beat saber so first before you can continue from here you're going to want to click all look for your beat saber and make sure, make sure you click remove, uninstall. It's just, you have to uninstall and reinstall because it will make sure that you're updated to the latest version, everything's downloaded properly, and downgrade your installation properly to get the, so you can get all the mods. So once your Beat Saber is finished installing, you can now start the modding process. What you're going to want to do, open MBF Launcher, move this to the side, and you're going to hit here, go to DevTools Opener, and you want to hit Open Settings. It's going to open this menu here, and you're just going to hit Open, and now you're going to have this menu. You can see right there, DevTools Opener is just moved, it's been minimized, and close this window. And you're going to want to scroll down all the way to the bottom, click on About Headset, scroll all the way down. Click on build number, just keep clicking it until right down there, it'll say you are now a developer, and you can click close, open this dev tools opener menu, click open developer settings, and it'll open this menu right here. You're going to want to do, scroll down, until you find wireless debugging, open this, turn this on, and once it's on, it'll, you want to click pair with pairing code, look at that, you want to click here. In this side, which will change by the way, you want to click 
one, two, five, oh, one, eight. It's going to be different for every single person, so don't do it exactly how I did it. Make sure you're looking over there at that. Once this is loaded and it's just doing this, you can just close this here, and you can close the DevTool opener. Now what should happen is you should get to this menu right here, and this is your modding menu. So what you want to do is uh, the latest version currently for the best modding you can have right now with all the cool mods is going to be in 1.37, although it is way less stable than 1.40.7, so I'd recommend going with that one, but I'm going with this one as it has some of the mods that I use. So you're going to click Confirm Downgrade, and you're going to want to click Mod the app. Now you're going to want to wait. This is going to take up to like 15 minutes, just about. So once you get into this menu, once you're done installing, it should take around 15-ish minutes is how long it took me. You can install mods, so I'll show you what I recommend. I recommend Beat Leader. Beat Together, but you can also get Beat Saber Plus, which I'd also recommend getting. Better Song Search, Chroma, uh, Clock UI if you want it, I like using it. Make sure this is almost like a requirement. Get Crash Reporter, makes it much easier for people trying to help you to debug what is wrong. Graphics Tweaks, this will make your game much faster and it works especially well on 1.37. Hit score visualizer is a really nice one. Intro skip, mapping extensions, noodle extensions. I always do no promo, you don't need it, but if you want cosmetics, so this is sabers, that is notes, and that is walls. I would get counters, quest sounds for custom hit sounds, recently played, replay I definitely get, score percentage, slice details, song chart visualizer, and that's about it. So it's 22 mods, you can just click that button. You're gonna wanna wait for this to fully install, and you should see when it, each one is successfully installed down there. Okay, so once all your mods have installed, you should be able to just launch the game. So you can keep this window open, or you can close it. If you have any issues with this, so this might crash a bunch, normally like around five times, see it crash right there, and I'm just gonna close that come back in here and reopen the game but you're just gonna agree okay continue continue so now you're here you have mods fully installed you should have modded levels so like normal you have all your stuff mods here counters is here and it's so custom songs should be right here uh, in the custom levels area since I installed it, recently played songs will be here. Uh, but I, you won't have any custom songs installed by default. But if you can go to Better Song Search and search for songs, songs that have the Vivify requirement, you can't play. Those are PC only songs. And yeah, that's basically it. You can get songs all here. If you have any questions, my Discord is in the description. You can ask any questions, just make sure to get a screenshot with any of the problems you have, and I will try to help you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and hope this works.